Well, if you have any doubt that the adherents to political correctness are now calling the shots at Canadian post-secondary institutions, then just check out the latest outrageous affront to free speech and common sense. Laurentian University psychology professor Michael Persinger has been removed from teaching an introductory psychology class. The reason? He requested that students sign a waiver agreeing to his use of vulgar language. Dr. Persinger's statement of understanding contains a list of 27 words that he might end up using in his lectures. Examples of racy language include the F-bomb, Satan, and prick. Oh, and politician too. The statement of understanding also included a warning noting this course is rated R for course language and explicit content. The professor was actually doing a favor to the kids taking the course, preventing them from being surprised by racy language. Although really it's doubtful any of the students have never heard any of these words, unless they avoid going to the local multiplex, don't watch TV, or have never listened to a rap song. Still, for the sensitive types, there was indeed an escape clause. If any student felt uncomfortable with the 27 words, he or she could simply transfer to another course. I think that's called reasonable accommodation. Oh, by way of background, it's not that the professor likes to swear like a sailor, nor is he a crank. In 2007, Persinger was named as Canada's best lecturer by TV Ontario. No, the crux of the matter is that he was teaching a course on the effect of language. And one can't teach a course on the psychological effect of naughty language unless you actually employ some naughty words. Besides, if one has his or her heart set on becoming a psychologist, chances are you're going to hear some racy lingo during a typical workday, given that professionals in this field often deal with people who are mentally ill. But can you possibly guess what happened next? Yes, apparently one little bubble-wrapped psych student complained about the 27 bad words. And incredibly, Laurentian's provost and vice president, Robert Kerr, upheld the complaint and promptly booted the professor from teaching the course. Ah, such courage, Mr. Kerr. Hopefully, this madness will be successfully appealed in the days ahead. But in the meantime, rest in peace, critical thinking, and academic freedom, and freedom of speech. Apparently, these days, if there's even one precious hothouse flower on campus who thinks it's their God-given right not to be offended, then, well, it's game over. It all seems so unreal, yet I can hardly wait to see how members of this current generation will cope once they graduate and try to function in the real world. You know, that place where there are no student councils and no university provosts to complain to. Lots of luck, kids. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies.